If you watch my channel, you know I reviewed the Xiaomi Mi Notebook Air last year, the 12.5 inch version and of course the 13.3 inch version and came away extremely impressed. Well, I'm really excited to bring you today the Xiaomi Mi Notebook Pro. It's Xiaomi taking its notebook line to the next level. It's got a dedicated GPU and it's got an 8th generation Intel Core i5-8250U CPU. Excited? I know I am. Hey everyone, it's Andrew from AMD Tech and this is my unboxing and first impressions of the Xiaomi Mi Notebook Pro. The Mi Notebook Pro sports a 15.6 inch IPS non-touch display, it's got a dedicated NVIDIA GeForce MX150 GPU and of course it has that Intel Core i5-8250 8th gen Intel processor. It's a quad-core processor that promises better performance and better battery life. Now it comes in at around $1000 or so, there are flash sales, I'll put the latest pricing in the description below. This model has 8GB of DDR4 RAM and it has 256GB of PCIe NVMe SSD storage. And there is a second slot where you can install another SSD, we'll talk more about that in just a little bit. Now the GPU has been upgraded from last year's 13 inch model. This is the Nvidia GeForce MX150 and it has 2GB of dedicated video memory. I pre-ordered my unit from GearBest. I used my own money for this unit. I did not get a review unit from GearBest. They are not paying me for this review. I will put the link below to various sites where you can purchase the Mi Notebook Pro. For the latest pricing, see the link below. And just like last year's models, this has very premium packaging. It's very MacBook-like and I really do like the unboxing experience, very high-end. Opening the box, you're greeted by the unit itself, and the first thing you're struck by is just how high-end and premium this all-metal build really is. Really top-notch construction. Now, you get some documentation in the box. Unfortunately, it's not in English, it's only in Chinese. You get a USB Type-C cable that connects to your charger, and it's 65 watts. We'll talk about the battery and charging times in the full review. Now once again, I'm going to point out this is extremely premium high-end device with its all-metal build. Really impressive when you look at it and I love its dark gray color. Now it comes in at about 1.99 kilograms or 4.38 pounds. It's not the lightest device, but it's certainly not very heavy considering this is a 15.6 inch device. And I really love the display. It sports a 15.6 inch IPS non-touch display. It's a fully laminated display with a resolution of 1920 by 1080. Now that's only 141 pixels per inch, but that doesn't tell the whole story. This is a very sharp full HD panel and I'm really impressed. The blacks are very deep, the colors are very vibrant and accurate. It's 94% sRGB and 73% Adobe RGB. It gets pretty bright at 293 nits and it is a glossy display, so it's not the best for outdoor use, but for indoor use, you'll be perfectly fine. And as is the trend in 2017, it has very thin bezels. And I really love the keyboard. Now I did like the keyboard from last year's 13.3 and 12.5 inch models. I like this one even better. At 1.5 millimeters of key travel, it was very comfortable to type on for extended periods of time. This time around, the keys are black and there is backlighting. Unfortunately, just like last year's model, it's still only one level of backlighting. And I also like the trackpad. I thought it was very spacious, very responsive, two finger scrolling worked well, Windows 10 just as worked as advertised. Really no complaints on the trackpad front. And you get a nice array of ports. On the left side of the device, you have a 3.5 millimeter headset jack, two USB 3.0 Type-A, and one HDMI out. And on the right side of the device, you have your SD card slot. It's full size, but unfortunately, the cards do not sit flush with the device. They stick out a bit. And you also get two USB Type-C ports. They're not Thunderbolt 3 supported, unfortunately, but you can do data, charge, and display out. And on the bottom you have two speaker grills with some venting and the back plate is removable allowing you to install your own M2 SATA SSD drive. Let me know in the comment section below if you want me to do a separate video of SSD installation. There are eight torque screws that you have to remove. One of the feet needs to be removed in order to access one of the screws, but once the plate is off, it's pretty simple. There is a open slot M2 SATA and you can pull a half size and a full size SSD into that drive. 
I will be installing my own SSD in that slot, so let me know if you want to see that in a video. And something very interesting, it looks like they left a space for an LTE modem to be put into this device. Unfortunately, this model doesn't have it, but who knows, maybe a future model will enable that. There is a fingerprint sensor located in the top right hand corner of the trackpad and it worked really well, very responsive, registered my finger pretty much every time I used it. Great for Windows Hello login. So far I've been really blown away by the speakers. They're located on the bottom and they're Infinity Harman branded. They have the Dolby Atmos branding as well and it sounded really good, full and rich and really powerful. I was really blown away just how good these speakers really are. Let's hear them in action. So this is the webcam on the Xiaomi Mi Notebook Pro. It's a one megapixel shooter. It shoots 720p, 30 frames per second. And as you can see, it's a bit grainy, not the best in low light situations. Certainly can get the job done if you're doing Skype, if you're video conferencing, certainly will work. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of this webcam. It's still not the worst I've ever seen, but certainly not the best. So this has been the front facing webcam on the Xiaomi Mi Notebook Pro. There's a 60 watt hour battery and in the few days that I've had the unit, I've been getting around seven and a half to seven hours and 45 minutes in my normal use test. Of course, I'll be doing thorough testing and reporting my findings in the full review. Now here's something to keep in mind. This comes with Windows 10 Home Chinese. It's a single language version, but you can upgrade it to an English version if you use the Windows Media Creation Tool. It will recognize your Windows key and it will turn everything into English and it will be a clean install so all your drivers will download, including the fingerprint sensor. It has a 256 gigabyte Samsung PCIe NVMe SSD of which about 211 gigabytes are available to the user. And here's how it did on the Crystal Disk Mark test. 1839 on the read and a 1308 on the write. Not at its full potential in terms of the write, could be better, not sure what's going on there. And as you can see from the Geekbench 4 test, the Core i5-8250 CPU did a 13278 on the multi-core score of the Geekbench 4 test. Its built-in graphics did 21,119 on the OpenCL test. And the MX150 GPU did 41,716. Of course, I'll have more benchmarks and testing in the full review coming very soon. Now there is a performance tweak you can do. Chris over Tech Tablets recently did a video on it. I'll link it below where you can eke out even more performance out of that Core i5-8250 CPU. It does have Bluetooth 4.1 and dual band wireless AC8265. Dual band wireless has been working well. Range was very good. Reception was excellent. So stay tuned. We will have the full review of the Xiaomi Mi Notebook Pro coming very soon. I'll do further testing on it. You'll get more benchmarks. You'll get the battery life. We'll get charging times. The performance on this so far is really good. The battery life in the few days that I've had it, seven and a half to seven hours and 45 minutes. You might be able to get eight hours plus if you do some tweaking. I'll report my findings, of course, in that full review. I like its look. I like its dark gray or space gray, whatever you want to call it. I like it better than that silver we saw on the 12 and 13 inch models from last year and this year. But I really want to know what you think. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Is there anything specific with the Xiaomi Mi Notebook Pro that you want me to look at in terms of testing in the review coming very soon? Performance is really good. I encourage you to check out the link below to Chris over Tech Tablets. He does a nice job in terms of eking out some more performance out of it with a hack with a utility from Intel. I'll leave the link below for you to check that out. I really think it's a steal at this point. If you can get it under $1,000, don't hesitate. I will put the links below where you can find out more information and where you can buy it. So please hit the like button, please subscribe, please share this video. Don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section below. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if there's a device or something out there you think I should review. I'll do my best to try to make that happen. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook, on Twitter, Instagram, and of course our website, amdtechreviews.com. So until next time, this is Andrew from AMD Tech. See ya.